Morgan and team owner Rick Fox. Thank you very much, Azale, and great hosting on the day. Yeah, I'm here with Victorious Froggen and Victorious owner Rick Fox. And immediately, you guys, veteran, also championship uh, ring holder. <laughs> How what did this game mean to you guys? Because you ended up pulling it out at the end and you've been through so much in your lives, but this still looked like it meant so much to you. What are you feeling right now? Yeah, I'm pretty happy about it because obviously going into it, we didn't have a lot of confidence because we lost so many games in regular season. So it's great that we can still like kind of play our game and then pull out a victory. Oh, it feels good. Um, I've been on the other side of this though. So first of all, to, to see how the three of those young men play for us, that's split so um, I know how difficult that must be for them right now to be going through uh, such a, a disappointing uh, day or result for them um, so I, my best to them I hope they keep going uh, to our team uh, obviously it's been anchored around Froggen now for uh, the whole existence of Echo Fox when it comes to League of Legends so we're grateful to have him uh, but what we're grateful most of is is that in the most dis disappointing regular season um, champions are built. Uh, one of the ingredients you have to have, even though we're not in the playoffs, is, is a, a resilience, a toughness, a fight, regardless that, uh, of what the circumstances or the standings say. And uh, this is something I've seen from all five of our guys, our coaching staff, our players have been resilient. They've stayed, stayed uh, consistent and fought through, the, through all of this. And this is the, one of the rewards for doing that. As you heard Froggen say, he got a chance to keep playing our game. It's kind of like college student body right, student body left, right up the middle. You know what we're going to do, but we're getting better at it, and the improvement is, is shown today. And so when you hear your owner talk about your team like that, what do you feel like? He's talking about your mental resilience and how you guys went through one of the hardest splits ever. Like, how do you feel coming out on the other end? Um, I mean, obviously it feels good, but we still have to win one out of the next best of fives, and that's what we have to focus on. So the job is not really done before we get to do that. So how do you feel about that next best of five coming up against Phoenix One? It's the only match victory you guys had, but it was against a different looking Phoenix One. What are your thoughts on that match on Saturday? Um, I think it's going to be pretty exciting. Like we're going to come in with more confidence than we came into with this. Um, yeah, we're going to come in with more confidence than uh, what we did in this game. So um, I think we are going to be like more comfortable on stage. Now we have already played a best of five. Like we're used to it. Um, I mean, I think we feel pretty good. And you guys have a lot of momentum behind you. You're talking about that confidence. Where is the ceiling for this Echo Fox team? Because you guys look like you were on the rise at the end of spring split. And then you guys kind of teetered off and the league looked like it was getting better as a whole. But Echo Fox was a little stagnant. Where do you think this Echo Fox team can end up? In LCS, hopefully. I mean... <laughs> <laughs> and, and same question to you, Rick Fox. Where does this Echo Fox team uh, have the potential to be? Well, we, we end up on stage on Saturday. And that's the next step. Uh, not looking too far ahead uh, with the positioning that P1 is in. We we recognize they've had one split under their belt. That's the same thing, same place we were in last uh, last split. So uh, we're going to go back and do exactly what the focus of our, our organization, our team has been about. As Froggen will tell you, it's about improving every day, suiting up, showing up, and putting that improvement to test. Uh, today was one of the days after a long, like I told you, after a long split, uh, where that improvement is, it, it revealed itself, and we got to improve for our next match. And so this game, this match, went all the way to game five. That's got to be really stressful for you as a player and you as an owner, and you guys have both had a lot of experience with going through hardships. Do you feel like when it goes to a game five that you're able to clutch it out, that you're able to actually deliver? What does the pressure do to you, Froggen? Um, I think game five is more about how you played the other four games, like, because we play for like five hours, if not longer, depending on how long the games are, right? So it's more about do you eat in between the breaks? Do you get enough, um, what's called water? Like just like keep, keep sustaining you because you're going to like die down at the end of game five or at the start of game five. So it's more about who can actually focus them all and just like keep on playing the game. Um, and you saw with us, we went back to something we are kind of comfortable on and we just like kind of know what to do. So that might be what pulled out the victory first. Are you giving them pep talks in between games or anything like that, Rick? Uh, no, they don't need that from me. Um, what the, the coaching staff has done is prepare, prepared them exceptionally well. Uh, I've, I've definitely, the, my faith is in them and my faith is in the players. Um, what I know about them is that they have not for one second stopped fighting. 
And and that's what I appreciate about him. That's what I respect about him. And I'm happy that it showed up today. Well, thank you very much. Hey, we're a best of five kind of team. <laughs> the best of three kind of screws us up a little bit. <laughs> uh, well, maybe we'll we'll talk about that format in League Ops. We'll see. But Froggen. Run that up the, run that up the chain. <laughs> Yeah, well, we'll we'll see. I don't know if it'll get approved or not. We get kind of tired after game fives as well. But thank you very much for the interview, Froggen, Rick Fox, and congratulations. Good luck on Saturday as well. And now we're going to throw it back over to the man at the desk to break down the day. Thanks so much for the interview. And I guess we'll have to look into those Such best a good of fives. record in best of fives. Yeah. Like this split alone, undefeated. So Un much better. Undefeated. They've the never record. lost. They've never <laughs> lost a single best of five TSM yeah. or Immortals. Whoa, that's go. insane. Yeah, um, like but. It. Uh, a nice interview. Good to hear from both Froggen and cool. Rick Fox. And you know, now to recognize a standout player today, a standout player of the series. Froggen had an incredible performance. He forced TLA to pick and ban away four champions from him, and he still showed up in games four and five. He was playing incredibly well on the Lux, and we already know he dominated on Flash. Yeah, I mean, even games one and two and three, like, his early series was dominating the lane, and yeah. then by the end of it, he was able to take over the game on Lux, even if he wasn't being as lane dominant. Giant kill participation, huge percentage of the team's damage, like, and really, you can see just play after play in this game, killing stunt over and over and over again. Just a really awesome performance from Froggen, and this is... Really, like when Rick Fox said he'd signed, you know, the Michael Jordan League of Legends, he wanted guys to show up that could carry games like this. Yep. Obviously, it hasn't come to fruition in the LCS, but he needs Froggen to continue to carry to get them back into the LCS. And, I mean, he got it here today for sure. Even in the games that they lost, Froggen was doing incredibly well. You know, that lane against uh, Cassidy, and he was very far up. But uh, following today's action, let's take a look at the updated tournament bracket. With their victory here today, Echo Fox advances to the next round while they will face off against Phoenix 1 on Saturday. Yeah, and the winner of both the Saturday series will move straight to the LCS. The losing teams, they get another chance, they earn their spot for Sunday, and then the winner of that will be the third team that promotes into the LCS. So four teams left, three advance. And both of those promotion matches will be hitting your screens on Saturday at noon Pacific with Energy versus Cloud9 Challenger on NALCS 1 and Phoenix 1 versus Echo Fox on NALCS 2. But you don't have to wait until Saturday for more League of Legends because the EU promotion tournament returns tomorrow at 8 a.m. Pacific. Check out EU LCS 1 stream for Origin versus Misfits, and EU LCS 2 hosts the other promotion match with a best of five between Schlocka 04 and Rocket, fresh off their win over Millennium earlier today. Time to say goodnight. So for Jat, myself, the casters, and the entire live broadcast crew, thanks for tuning in, and we'll see you on Friday. Oh, oh the memers! <laughs> They're out in full force today. Careful now, it's getting a little dank in here. On the blue side, it is Echo Fox. And on the red side, it's second place from Challenger, it's Team Liquid Academy. Team Liquid Academy are cleaning this fight up. KFO will get one kill in return. Froggen dies as well. He's trying to kite it out. Does not have the Mega Nar slam. Oh, he drops the wall up late. KFO under the turret is stunned. Solo, solo kill. KFO is running. There goes a lot of damage. Oh. A huge slam finds free. Hard is running for his life. You I got Sun Ash. I got Sun Ash. Kill Ash, kill Ash. If you guys oh. kill Blood, you can win. Blood, 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 Blood. He has nothing. He has nothing. Come on. Yes. Lucian's dead, Lucian's dead, Lucian's dead. We can keep back, we can keep back, we can keep back. Yeah, 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 okay, yeah, yeah. Okay, okay. Nice. Yeah, yeah. Kill, 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 kill. Stop, stop. Kill, 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 kill. Channel's fine, Channel's dead. Lucian can kill Channel. I'm nothing, I'm nothing. And this is the cleanup for Echo Fox. Froggen in the front with KFO. The two tanks are going to do some work here. Solo gets knocked back. They've got to finish him off. He drops. Big gets the kill with a banana. <laughs> front gets immediately whoa, whoa, body whoa. slammed and cast against the wall, saved by the Pillar of Filth. They're still trying to burn him down, but he gets a double kill. Don't be hard. Don't be hard. Plus, kill me. Kill me. Kill, 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 kill. Oh, in the game, in the game, in the game, in the game. Those heals, though. Sitting just outside of vision. Oh, oh he stole it! Sweet! Oh, baby! man. Flashes, but he's separated from his team. Body slam over the wall. Oh, it's away, but Froggen with a binding. And KFO has found them. Golden Blue drops. Get back, get back, get back. Oh, I got Soraka. Get back, get back. Shoot one, shoot one, shoot one. Shoot one. Shoot one. I'm flashing down. Nice, we can, we can fight, we can fight. Okay. They have done it, Echo Fox. And they stay alive. <laughs>